Hello Pisces, beautiful, beautiful Pisces. How are you guys doing? Okay, thank you so much for being here with me, Pisces. I have a beautiful reading for you today. Okay. So I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, so I have your coffee cup right here. I'm going to pull tarot and oracle too. And I have the messages that I saw in your coffee beforehand that I want to talk to you guys about. So, so exciting. I saw a crescent moon. Crescent moon is very beautiful. It talks about um, the changing the cycles of life. And so it's also a protection against negativity. There is something here that is changing for you and there has been a cycle that has ended and a new one that is going to be beginning, okay? And this, I feel like, is really talking about a particular person that is coming into your life and you may know this person, you may not. We're going to see about this. Um, but this is talking about seeing the bigger picture here, Um there is a song. It's in the movie called Snow Day. There's a lot of people in it. And it's a really cute little movie. A bunch of different storylines kind of going on with all of these kids. Uh, well, teenage, college age. Um, and love and different things that are happening in this little town, you know. And there are friends that it's like realizing that they are the one for each other. And they sing this song that's like called the hole of the moon. And it's like, I saw the crescent, you saw the hole of the moon. So there is something here about realizing that one person saw this connection, the whole of it, what it could be. And another person only seeing like a portion of what this could be. So that could be um, something that has been a repeating pattern in your love life. And this is saying like that cycle is coming to an end. Now you're going to meet or have a person that sees the whole of you of what this connection could be. And it's very beautiful. So we'll see about this. Um, I saw Pac-Man. And you know, Pac-Man is like chasing the little the little dots right so this is about um value now being seen it can be about epiphany being had but this is someone that has set their sights on you and they're coming towards you this is like zeroing in determination okay that is paying off a goal oriented person this can represent discipline this is somebody that goes for what they want they're very bold so this is exciting, right? Um, I saw a potion that then transformed into like a potion bottle that transformed into a guitar. So potions can represent immortality in the guitar. It's like people use this instrument to pour out feelings that have been hidden, right? To reveal these kind of feelings, but it is necessarily not all at once. You don't necessarily know. This could be later on someone is revealing these feelings and what a situation meant. So this could be somebody reflecting on something. Um, and also in songs, love is kind of um, immortalized, you know. And so there could be something here to this. There also talks about um, a person using their talents to kind of work as a love potion here. So we're going to see more about that because you're wanting somebody here that's like shifting from someone who's using their talents to kind of entrance and get something versus someone who is using their talents to honor you and show, express how they truly feel. So that's this could be like the cycles that are changing here for you. So I really like this a lot. Okay. Yeah, this is very beautiful. It's like here is like your energy. And this is like you in this like this evening gown with this long, 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 long train here. Okay. So this is something where it, it, whether you're male or female. Okay. This is about this series of events that are leading up to you emerging. Right. In this new way. 
in this way of um, shock and awe and people adoring you and in this way of uh, being celebrated, being honored, okay? This is like glow up energy and this is like taking some time for this glow up to really come together here. Yeah, you have a badger here. This is a badger, okay? And so badgers represent holding your ground and understanding your own personal power here. So not going towards anyone or anything. This is going to be, you're going to be drawing situations, circumstances, people into you. And this is about if someone is not respecting your energy, this is shifting away from them, okay? So how um, beautiful, interesting is this, right? Okay, so I'm going to get some tea leaves. We're going to see a little bit more about this. Okay, what do we got here? On target, I'm telling, did I not say a goal-oriented person? I'm telling you. And this, and that's the thing that I love about this, um, because it's like anyone who's doing archery, playing darts at a bar, whatever, um, <laughs> you know, they're not aiming for this outside portion here. No. They're not aiming over here or over here. They're aiming for the bullseye. That's it. You know, that's what you're wanting. And this is what they're going for. And so this is very, um, this is very beautiful here. You have dark man dealings or relationships with a man with dark complexion or hair. But this is really representing, okay, it doesn't have to be this depiction. But it's what this is saying is a masculine energy is coming towards you. So you could be this masculine energy and now you are, you're sure about something that you're wanting. And this is kind of like confirmation for you to go forward. But most of you, I feel like are feminine energies. And so this is about a person that knows what they want. Their eyes are set on you and they're prepared to come forward, um, to make their intentions known. It's like, this is something, and this could be somebody here that it's like, they didn't see it before and now they see it right? Uh, and that could be for, a, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have the wall misunderstanding here. So this is somebody who maybe they didn't see something. They have a wall built up, or maybe they interpreted you as having a wall built up as you not being interested, okay? But there's a door. Opportunities are waiting for you. So this is somebody who now sees an opportunity where, you know, maybe they weren't sure before, okay? All that this could be. You have the heart, love, deep affection, and caring. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, and this could also have been things that were delayed because of financial reasons. You have bad, something important such as a new job or a raise. So there is something here that they maybe had to get in order. They had to get together. And then now they feel, um, you know, secure. This is somebody who is like a provider here. And that's very important to them. They want to be able to provide. They feel like that is their role and their focus could have been on their money. And now that that is taken care of, it's like, you know, they, they're, they're seeing this, they're having this epiphany. It's the right time for it now. That's another reason. It's like, now will be the right time for this to happen for you in this life. How beautiful. Okay. I really like this so, so much. Okay, look at this. Optimism. So this is about being optimistic, okay? Anything that is happening, you're just taking this as evidence towards you becoming, right? Becoming um, this um, glow up version of yourself here. You're, you're taking all of this as the story of you on the road too. It's like something really good to do is they used to do this show on MTV and it was like, uh, hmm, I don't know what it's called, but it was something about like, it would show like, um, I don't know, Britney Spears, like, you know, when she was kind of like at the peak of her, you know, fame, right? And they had like a, was it true life? I don't know. But it showed like when she was young and when she was a kid and she would like sit at her desk and she was like, you know, in the, the third grade and they has like her, her um, lab partner in the third grade, you know, Lisa Frank stickers, you know, and, and she would be like, um, 
Yeah, I, you know, we were like trying to learn algebra and here's Britney Spears like signing her name and it was all her signature and she said, I'm practicing my signature because I'm going to be famous one day, <laughs> you know, and then we would like go play hopscotch together. <laughs> this is like, you know what I'm saying? And so this is kind of like they would tell the story of before and like Christina Aguilera, like she had no friends in school. They all hated her because she like won the talent show. You know what I mean? They, like, you know, wrote, like, mean things about her on her locker and stuff or something like that. And it's, like, just taking this as evidence of I'm going to become something amazing. I You know, everything that I have gone through, this is fuel for me to, to now use here. So this is kind of, like, goal-oriented people. They know how to do that. And that's the thing about this person is they know how to do that. It's, like very successful people they don't really hear no they hear okay not right now so there are things that i can do there's other ways that i can focus my energy so that this will happen you know they always take everything with this amount of optimism here and this is very interesting that i'm noticing here because you have a person holding like this drink here like the potion and then they're playing the harp here so there is a way that a person could very much so like romance you here. They want to romance you in a way. Okay, you have empathy here. So there could be a, this person has a lot of empathy for you. This could be a person that is very much so in touch with their emotions. You could hear about um, or they could hear something about you or you hear something about this person. Maybe this person views you as somebody who is not obtainable, you know, um, and they hear something about you and it, it, it changes things. There's something about empathy. There could be other people like mutual friends that you have and or you could go a place where you see this person a lot and there is eyes, but it's like, you know, kind of not looking at one another, you know, and you hear something. There's people now that, you know, know, know you, that they know. And so there is this element of kind of like empathy here. There could be some difficulties that this person had to go through, but there's a lot of growth that has happened here, too. Like, I'm really feeling that there's a lot of loyalty that is here. Yeah, there is. OK, so the extremism is under the misunderstanding here. So there's something here where it's like someone could see something as a way of extremism, like they heard something that is wrong or they went through some kind of extremist experience with a person. And so this is why this wall has been built up for protection. But this is a misunderstanding. That doesn't mean that they're not interested. This means that they're they're trying to avoid their heart being broken again, right? Um, because I feel like it took a lot for them to overcome this situation. Or this could be you. And you could very much be mirroring each other. You both could have learned a lot of lessons, right? And overcome a lot of this type of behavior and love. And so now it's kind of like... Um, you know, there was this protection here, okay? But, th but that is going to be cleared up here. There's a way that that's going to be cleared up. Yeah, because you have opportunities, okay? And then you have this excitement here. So this is something really amazing here. They're very excited about this opportunity for you. And this is like representing communication that is coming towards you, okay? This person wants to come forward. They want to communicate. Anytime you see a white horse, this represents moving forward in purity okay and this horn is like kind of like um uh, news that is ordained by god right so this is something very beautiful the two of you kind of coming together here and you see the ruins behind so there is wreckage here but you know this person is not going to allow that to stop them to stop them and they're not going to dwell on that they have healed from that situation they're excited again to move forward and they feel like within their being that you know they're being pulled towards you there is this like draw that you have you know and this person is someone that will honor you so um wow this is very wow are you kidding me right now hmm. 
And this, this is a person that you can marry. This is a person that you could have a commitment with. This is like a next big relationship with this kind of a person, okay? And this doesn't necessarily have to be marriage and children, although it very well can be, right? Okay? But this is really talking about you and another person, okay? Birthing something new, like a new life together. This is like the cycle, okay, that is changing now. A new cycle of your life is changing where things are going to be born from love. Things are going to be born from this loving energy. And look at this angel here that is giving birth here. And it's very much so in balance. There's like duality here that's in balance. So this person could very much so help you see perspective or you help them see perspective. And there is a very... um masculine energy about this person a very feminine energy about you or vice versa if you're the masculine you know what i'm saying and the two of you coming together is just a beautiful thing here and something that you're wanting to be born is is, is here for you it's here wow love deep affection and caring so this is a huge change to what you have experienced um on this earth some of you yeah this is a person that you're gonna have children with that you're gonna you know spend your life with and this has been a long time coming this love this is, could be a lot of lifetimes that the two of you this love has been close but it was never it just slipped out of your fingertips here you were separated by circumstance by you know by a wall you could connect to somewhere where there is a wall and this is a problem and, and this is like um, uh, love that is like forbidden here. This could be something here where it's kind of like, you know, families. There is like a history that's like not um, accepted here because of heritage or because of society, you know, because of all of the things that people want to say against love, which is absolutely ridiculous, right? Okay. Okay. So you have domination and enterprise here. So this is very interesting and this is under the bag so this is a person that really learned how to um have an enterprise how to have some kind of growth in something that was very dominated so it's like for them there could have been something here where it was like you know the family wanted them to be a particular thing and they didn't want to do that here so this could be something where they had to kind of really start from scratch because you have the acorn here and the acorn is is what you use to you plant an acorn and you're starting a new tree and it's all these acorns come from that and so then you plant more and more and you're planting your own forest here so this is seeding something new and something different and the palmistry here is indicating that this is their um destiny to do this here and there's going to be like this rise that they're going to have to this fame okay to some kind of success here where they're going to go from being dominated to um dominating okay some kind of an industry they could own their own business this is someone that's very very successful they trusted their instincts and they started something this is a person that's like a self-starter they're making their own way in something okay and when they do that there was a lot of research that they had to do. there's a lot of knowledge that they had to obtain and there was a lot that they had to give to that and now this is in a good place so now they're at a great place in their life for love right Whereas before they were focused on that, or this could be you, that you were, you have been focused on this, okay? Situation, this situation is going to um, improve for you. And this is going to allow this love to now come in. But this is like really about, um, this person is going to honor you. They're going to honor you in a lot of ways here. You have independence here, yeah. It's like this person sees you, okay? This is the feminine energy here. And she even looks pregnant here, right? standing on her own here so there is a way that you're gonna be honored and this is very much so it's like this energy of you standing here but you have this trail here this train of a dress you know so there is some kind of an emergence here of you okay and in your own independence but also in um luxury and in being honored okay this is about um 
your feminine energy being being honored and you representing more there's like something here about you representing like um what is that babe it's like you representing a cause or something here and being seen in this beautiful way. So what flew out now? Oh, a lot of cards. Okay, this is beautiful though. Okay, so you have the five of wands here. There could have been a lot of competition for your attention. This is, could be something where this person, there's a lot of conflict that this person got away from. There's a lot of conflict that you have gotten away from. And this is like you have spent some time on your own here with the seven of, of um, wands here. You have spent some time on your own. You have healed yourself. And there's a lot of people that are trying to get your attention, but it's not for honorable reasons, okay? So you're blocking this. There could be a lot of gossip around you and about things that you're doing, about some kind of misunderstanding that you had with a past person that was not respecting you, and you're healed yourself from this. This is about healing yourself and this other person, they've done this as well. So this is about Page of Cups. This is someone who's trying to get some more information. So this is, could be when you meet this person or you this has already happened where there is like this, you know, flirtation here. This is a person that wants to get to know. They want more information here. They're not exactly making an offer, but they're not exactly not either. Okay, they're trying to gather some more information here. And then this is this person coming in 100%, right? You have the King of Pentacles and you have the Queen of Pentacles that came out together. So this is very beautiful here. This is a relationship here where you see the two are like facing one another here, okay? And this is, you know, look, look at how like regal and elegant, right? It's like standing strong in your independence, but also in your beauty and your divine feminine energy in this grace kind of energy and this king of pentacles is a person that knows what they want they see something of value and they're gonna go for it they're gonna put everything towards this this is somebody who's very well established who's a very wealthy they're very successful person they understand how to carry themselves they understand how to pursue someone that they have feelings for and this is someone that is discipline they have determination they know how to zero in and this is a person that wants to romance you wants to show you that they have this love this deep caring this deep affection here so this is something um very beautiful here they see you as a person of uh they see you and they value you and they value what this connection could be so this is what you're attracting here when you call and shift your energy to uh, only things that give back to you and see you as this high value and you only engage in high value um, interactions, thoughts, the way you present yourself, this is something that you have been doing for quite some time now. And now this is going to be seen and this is going to be honored, okay, by, um, by this masculine energy here. So they're going to come forward and they're very sure. This is someone who wants to get to know, wants to ask some questions, wants to understand the situation. They could observe and gather information that way and they're not really telling you this. But um, there is this point they have reached where this epiphany is being had and they're very excited about this opportunity, about what the two of you can create here and this expression of love that this could be here. And this is someone who's not afraid to romance you. They're not afraid to show you, the, to um, spend, um, to give gifts to you. They're not afraid to um, open up. They could be slow in the beginning, but once they're sure that your feelings are going to be reciprocated, okay, that's what this is about. This is not about, you know, they, they are not sure that your feelings are being reciprocated here, okay? So this is somebody who's now seeing the whole of the moon. They're seeing the big picture here. And they're ready to come forward towards you. And they come forward towards you in this way of um, respect, of dignity. They will go at your pace. This is someone who wants to learn a lot about you and what you can 
birth together here. That's the thing is, you know, that's what this is about. Very loving and this person, you're going to know how they feel about you because they're going to tell you with their words and they're going to show you with their actions here. Everything adds up. It's very easy. It flows very easily. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful reading, Pisces. Wow. Okay, so it could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn person coming towards you. It doesn't have to be, okay? Um, you have Cancer here. You have Scorpio. There is um, Sagittarius here too, okay? But it doesn't have to be. One of those signs can be any zodiac sign, okay? Um, this is about a person that is well-rounded here. So when, when you have this kind of a person here, they're not necessarily this sun sign, you know. Um, yeah, they embody this more well-rounded, um, higher vibrational energy, okay? So this is beautiful, okay? Thank you so much. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please like and subscribe, okay? And also, I have a book. It's called One White Rose, and this is fiction. It's about four different girls, women, uh, that live in different times in the world, different places in the universe, and each one of them is, uh, you know, um, faced with uh, trauma of physical, emotional, mental, and sexual abuse, and... It's really about even if you're finding yourself completely alone for your whole life, even, you know, how broken you may have been or are, you know, and for how no matter how long you have been that way, you know, you're not alone. You can tap into this divine feminine energy and all the souls of anyone that has lived and felt this pain, you know, they and they tried to make it out and they couldn't, you know, and and you know, their whole life, they never made it out. You know, these souls, they stand with you. And this divine feminine energy is with you. And you can heal from anything. There is no amount of pain that you cannot heal yourself from, that you cannot transform into a beautiful life for yourself. So thank you so much.